First tonight, the parking free-for-all. Disabled parking permits are being handed out to perfectly healthy and often wealthy drivers. Our investigation reveals there are more disabled permits being used in Australia than there are registered disabled people. David Richardson reports on the black market giving some a free ride when it comes to parking. Would you take us down to your car and show us your disabled permit, please? Would you be able to show us that? This man has a ticket to ride, a golden pass to park wherever he wants, for as long as he wants, for free. Is it yours? How are you disabled, Mr Singh? Can you tell me how you're disabled? We've got video footage of you parking in disabled car parks. Just check the dashboard of his $100,000 BMW and there it is, a disabled parking permit. OK. Australian Disability Parking Permit. Expiry date the 7th of December 2013. But Kunal Singh can't explain how he got it. If you're truly disabled, sir, you'd have no hesitation in showing us your pass. Do you realise what he's doing? You know, it's against the law. Yeah. Yeah. For three days, we followed this so-called disabled driver as he exploited car parks set aside for the genuinely disabled, grabbing a coffee at McDonald's and parking in two-hour zones in city streets for free, saving a fortune at someone else's expense. There's a huge black market operating in disabled parking permits and everyone doing it is stealing a parking space from a bona fide disabled person. With inner city car parking costing a small fortune, a disabled parking permit is worth its weight in gold. In this one street alone, 13 cars displaying disabled permits, there are 800,000 across the country, 50,000 more permits than disabled pensioners. More than half could be fake. If you're disabled, your life is already monumentally difficult. You don't need anybody stealing your space by fraudulently purporting to be disabled. Today, tonight's motoring expert, John Cadogan, can't believe our disabled are being ripped off by masses of phony permits. 13 to 15 per cent of motorists disabled? I don't think so. Those numbers are grossly overinflated by people rotting the system. To be such ratbags as to take disabled parking spots, which, which are always full at any rate, because of so many crooks and things like that and people who don't need them. Tony Varrell is a quadriplegic. He drives a specially designed van, but look at how he's been treated when he parked the wrong way in a suburban side street because he had to. Some brainless, petty-minded council moron put a pa parking ticket underneath my windscreen wiper can't even reach the thing I mean, you know, there's not even a driver's seat there You were fined for parking the wrong way, simply so you could get in and out yeah. That boat down the street isn't that going the wrong way? Yeah, I'm afraid it's there all the time, never moves And never been given a ticket? Well I assume so, he hasn't moved, I mean he'd be given a ticket every day, wouldn't he? Tony's disabled permit is clear to see, but he's still copped a $147 fine. He's fighting it, but getting nowhere. While a legitimate quadriplegic is busted in one suburb, a phony walks away scot-free in another. Would you like to come down and show us the pass? Why don't you show us the pass and tell us how you got it? There is a black market in these passes, Mr Singh, and you seem to have one. The abuse of disabled parking permits is becoming really epidemic in Australia. That's what's reported to me every day. Wheelchair-bound Dr Rhonda Galbally AO is the chair of the National People with Disabilities and Carers Council, furious at the black market in disabled permits. They're charging anything from 200 to 800 um, for a sticker because it brings enormous privilege and so there is quite a market in the sale of them. A key feature of the scheme is the Australian Disability Parking Permit which will initially replace over 100 different permit types across Australia. The Federal Government has tried to simplify the parking permit system but permits still don't have photo ID meaning anyone can get one. You only need a doctor's certificate to apply. What allows this fraud fraudulent behaviour to thrive in our society. It's got to be bent doctors, it's got to be too simple to get the permit in the first place, and it's got to be too simple to sell it to the wrong person. 
Disabled driver groups are now demanding a full audit of every permit in the country. They want photo ID fitted to all new permits and tougher fines for the cheats. For people to get in on that when they're not disabled and they don't have to live with that day to day, it's just absolutely terrible, really. It's a terrible thing in Australia. It's David Richardson reporting. It is happening a lot. So are photo IDs on those permits the answer? We'd love to hear your comments. Just go to our website.